Okay, so we have finally, after many months of work, over time here, gotten all of the river rock taken out of my system. So if you haven't been following along, um, the river rock I put in initially with the system and realized afterwards that mixed in with my river rock was lots of limestone and fossils and other things that were causing my pH to um, steadily stick at about 8.2, which is way too high. Um, so over the course of uh, about four months here, I have been slowly switching the river rock out with this new, uh, what's called, what is it, Beechwood Pebbles, I believe. Um, and this is a pH neutral rock. It's a little bit rough around the edges, but it's very lightweight, porous. It's gonna be great in here, I think. And um, so the reason I, I took so long to do this was because I didn't wanna kill all my bacteria colony and take all of this out at once. So I didn't wanna just, you know, wipe all four grow beds out and take all the river rock out and then you know, put the, the new stuff in because then I'd start all over and uh, may have fish die and uh, because the ammonia levels would get too high and I wouldn't have any bacteria in there to process the, you know, filter the water. So I did it one at a time, about every three or four weeks. Um, and uh, now I've gotten all the river rock out. So I have one grow bed to just fill up with uh, the rock here and then I'll be done. And it's going to be an exciting couple months coming up. And uh, so the pH is going to be coming down in the system, hopefully keep it right around 7, and uh, I think we're going to see some real difference in the growth versus what I've been doing. Um, I'm really going to plan out the grow beds and really start to focus on the whole point of this endeavor, which was to produce food. And uh, I'm going to really focus in on a few crops instead of having so many different types, and uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that at a later time. But uh, as you saw in the video here, I was able to transplant these uh, pepper plants and I've got a couple bell peppers in the back there. Um, these are banana peppers here and this one just started growing really well. I'm not sure why. Um, it's, it was about this big for like three months and then all of a sudden it just took off and it's got a bunch of peppers on it. I've got some jalapenos in here and you can see I got a little jalapeno on this one. Um, so this is going to be kind of all peppers and my, the, the new grow bed I'm doing here I think I'm going to do all bell peppers also. But uh, so. Just a word of advice for you, you've seen kind of from the video how much work it is to haul this rock. I've, I'm in a basement here, so I'm up and down the stairs. Uh, this was literally one yard of rock, so more than a pickup truck load full of rock that I took out bucket by bucket, and more than a pickup truck load of, of the new rock that I had to carry down here bucket by bucket. So it's, it's been a lot of work. Um, but I'm glad it's over with and I'm excited to uh, move forward here and take you guys along with me. So um, if you have any questions about the system, uh, please let me know and I'll try to answer those as best as possible. Um, check out the channel. I've got a lot of other videos uh, that kind of goes over all the things that I've gone through with the system over the last nine or ten months. And uh, hit thumbs up on this video if you could. I really do appreciate that. Just tap that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. And uh, uh, like I said, questions and comments I try to answer to everybody if I can. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.